What's going on everyone? Welcome to the first video in cashing in on short-term rentals. Um, I'm super excited to share this with you guys. I've been working on this for the last six, eight months or so. Um, and th this video series is brought to you by my company, which is the Build Don't Buy Short-Term Rental Masterclass, and then also the Strategic Advisory Board. Um, so what, what the goal of this 12-part series is essentially to g give you guys a launching pad to short-term rental development and short-term rental management. Um, and that that's what I mainly focus on. So a little bit of background about me. So I started in the Marine Corps when I was, I, I served in the Marine Corps, uh, joined when I was 18 years old. And about a year before I left the military, what I realized was uh, I didn't want to re-enlist. And so I just started reading a lot on short-term rental books, on real estate books, on any type of real estate I could get my hold of. I, I was attracted to real estate because I enjoyed the control over it. And I had originally joined like a flipping houses mentorship. And I was on a group coaching call and the gentleman that ran the mentor program, um, he had said that all of his long-term wealth was tied into short-term rentals. This is back in 2015 or 16. And so I got on a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with him. And I was like, I'm, I'm super interested. I'm, I'm interested in the flipping, but I'm more interested in the short-term rentals because I had done my research and I, I saw what type of money these properties were making, just crazy numbers. And he actually showed me some of his numbers as well. Um, so we got, um, all right, we can cut that. So he helped me actually choose a market and uh, he taught me different ways on how to choose a market. And we actually decided on the market that I currently live in now, which is Asheville, North Carolina. And so I moved here the day I got out of the military, got my real estate license, and I started looking for a property for myself. And what I realized really quickly was everything was either way out of my price range or it was in my price range, but there was nothing unique about it. It wouldn't have done well as a short-term rental. Maybe as a long-term rental, if I would just put like a tenant in there for like 12 months at a time, but nothing unique about the properties I could afford at that time. So I did, after like six to eight months of looking, my very first property, I decided to build, and my very first property was a short-term rental development. And that took about like eight, eight to 10 months with furnishing to get this property out of the ground. Um, but I'm, my goal with this one is, uh, the, in this video is to sort of share you guys, share with you guys what's possible. Um, because right now we're developing over $10 million in real estate. And I personally own $15 million in specifically just in short term rentals. Um, that's the assets under management we have is 15 million and it's all in short term rentals. And I built that portfolio just in about like five or six years, but you can start off with like one or two, three properties. And like, I'm very confident from what I'm going to show you guys today, that three properties can completely retire you like, or like, like give you the financial freedom to sort of do whatever you want. Cause that, that's what the first three did for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over. And this, again, this video is just going to be showing you guys just a case study in one of my, my very first properties. So this is the very first property we built. And I love using this one as an example. Um, so this property, it has 235 reviews and it rents for about anywhere between 230 to $400 a night, a night. And I'm going to, I'm going to break down all my numbers for you guys, but I just wanted to show you guys some photos of this property. So it's an A-frame in the mountains, in the woods, There's some drone footage beautiful, beautiful property. That's the inside. It's very small too. It's like an 800 square foot property. So I just want, again, I just want to show you guys this and I'm going to break down some of my numbers. So this property netted last year or uh, gross last year. That means the top line number grossed $82,000. And then after all bills were paid, after my mortgage was paid on this property, which I'll talk about how to get those in a later video, um, after all my bills were paid, this property made $46,000 in my pocket, what was left after paying all bills, $46,000 just off of one property. Uh, and like I said, like imagine, imagine if you had three of these properties, that's over $130,000, $130,000 that's left in your pocket just by building three of these. Say three takes you a couple years, maybe one or two years. The first one took me a year, but if you build all three of them together, you build three of them that net you anywhere between thirty-five dollars to $50,000 a year. 
and you're pre you're pretty much set to do whatever you want or at least figure out like I I feel pretty comfortable that you can be financially free on one hundred twenty, one hundred fifty thousand um, dollars. That that's just my that's just been my experience in my opinion. Um, but I want to break down some of these numbers for you guys. Um, so I'm going to switch over to my iPad, my little whiteboard, my digital whiteboard, and I'm going to show you guys. So it netted. So in my pocket, it netted forty six thousand. So what does that mean? So it um, like what do the numbers look like? So it it cost with fur with purchasing the land with furnishing, and with with everything, uh, it costs two hundred and fifty thousand with building, furnishing, and purchasing the land. And I'll talk about all, I don't want this to scare you guys in any way because I'm going to be talking about how to find land, how to find markets, how to how to find properties, how to find partners if you don't have any money or your credit is shot. And here's the fun thing. I don't, I have, outside of this very first one, I've put none of my own money into my current deals that I'm doing. And again, we're developing $10 million worth of real estate that I have ownership in. And I have partners in the deals that put in all of the money. And I'll show you guys how to do that uh, in later videos. But for now, this property costs 250000 to build. And these numbers were done prior to COVID, so I was I would admit anywhere between twenty to thirty percent to these numbers. But even adding that uh, to these numbers, you're still going to be way ahead. So two hundred fifty thousand to build, and the the property netted forty six thousand. So my down payment or my down payment plus all of the furnishing costs was about. Let's let's be a little conservative here and say forty forty thousand dollars with my down payment and furnishing. I think furnishings came out to be about like fifteen grand and then whatever my down payment was. Just say forty grand. I put forty grand into this deal. Again, I don't want this number to scare you guys because I'm going to teach you guys how to raise capital from investors, how to put those deals together. And it's it's super, super, super simple where you're not putting your own money into the deals. So forty thousand of my own money of other people's money, whatever, put 40,000 into the deal and it just one time and it brings $46,000 a year. It, for my for my numbers, people out there, that's a cash on cash return. And you guys can Google what that means, but that's a cash, an annual cash on cash return of over 100%. Again, these numbers were done prior to COVID, but even, even if you got an ROI, a return on investment of 80% a year, that's that's still insane after COVID, um, even with higher interest rates. Right now, we're purchasing properties. Like uh, as of the recording, as of recording this, I think interest rates are in the commercial space are ho hovering anywhere between seven and a half to eight percent, and we're still purchasing properties that and building properties because we're finding them to still be profitable uh, after we underwrite them. And that's the power of this: is building these unique properties. I'm going to switch over to just here building these unique properties. I like to say Instagrammable properties, properties where people would be proud to put on their social media are essentially recession proof. These properties did well during COVID. These properties are doing well in this current correction we're, we're going through. And I'm pretty confident because I'm, we're building $10 million worth of real estate. I'm pretty confident that these properties will continue to do well 5, 10, even 15 years in the future. Short-term rentals have been around forever. Don't let these like regulations or anything scare you or, hey, we're in a recession and short-term rentals aren't making money. Sh like before Airbnb and VRBO, the short-term rentals have been around for hundreds of years. But like in the 80s and 90s, you just had to pick up a phone and call a property manager to book a short-term rental. So the way booking these properties has gotten easier um, and that's what sort of put short-term rentals in the spotlight. Um, but again, like I said, the whole, the, this first video was just to show you guys how to, um, like what to expect, uh, in this 12 part series. Again, this is video number one. I, I just wanted to start off by just showing you guys what is possible, uh, with these properties that you can develop or purchase. And then in the next video, what we're going to be talking about is market analysis. So again, I hope you guys are excited and I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks.